going to start out with some potting soil. It's just basic, cheap garden compost. I read the ingredients. There's no amendments. There's no extra stuff in it. It's just forest compost. So we're going to put some of that in there. We're going to, oh, this is something I'm going to add in, is actually some of my old aquarium substrate that has not only the clay particles, but it's got some crushed coral in there. And these black pieces are uh, lava rock. You see there's some seashells in there. Seashells, they're snail shells, snails that have died. But these, this is substrate that I pulled out of an aquarium that I broke down that had planaria in it. And I'm not entirely sure, even though it's been dry for a while, that I want to actually risk putting it back in an aquarium. I don't know enough about planaria to know how resilient they are. Let's just put it that way. So let's mix that up a little bit. Oh, well, it's pretty cool. I think I'm definitely gonna want more though. Yeah, let's say we put more of that in. because I don't want to encourage anything to mold or fungus in here. I want lots of aeration to get through. You see there's other bits of lava rock in there. Um, I'm a little worried about the soil getting compacted though, because like I said, I've used the tropical substrate before and really not need dirt, so. Let's put more. Let's put it all in. Put the whole bag in. Screw it. That's pretty cool. Um, another thing we are going to be putting in here is um, wood chips that I've had soaking. For a while, and a little bit of sphagnum moss, just a little bit. I don't, whoa, is that moving? I'm on a lopsided. Actually, my tray is lopsided, the legs are lopsided. So, let's put some moss in, not much. I don't wanna put a lot in, and I don't want a lot of moisture in here because I'm going to end up adding some wet charcoal as well. Um, let's actually get a little too much moss wet here. So I'm going to pull that out so we can get to the wood chips that are soaking underneath. And we'll just put, wow! There's some leaf chunks, leaf litter in here also that have been soaking. Wow, I'm making a mess. Okay, let's mix that up a little bit, see how that goes. Yarg, big chunks. Ooh, it's a little wetter, I think, than I want it to be. Because I know the zebras, they like, they like it a little drier but and then we're gonna have to work something out here. All right, let's get some more wood. Yeah, definitely wetter, wetter than I wanted to. I may just end up making this and letting it set to inoculate um, for a little while before transferring them over. I don't want it to be too wet for them. And this is looking pretty wet. This is looking pretty, pretty wet. Even once, oh, there's a big ass piece of charcoal. Even once I add the dry leaves, I think it'll end up being too wet. Um, you know, one thing I want to add, I think, I'm gonna put a little more crushed coral in there, some calcium. I think we should put some stones in for air pockets and we shall add some leaves 
I hope they like this. I hope the springtails can survive also. My bowl's a little small, I think. I used a small bowl so I could limit myself so I didn't make too much substrate. But, I don't know. Okay. So, I've been there. <coughs> oh, dust in my nose. Those are big pieces. We'll save those. Okay, so I think <coughs> the only thing that's next, we've got some leaves here. We're going to put some leaves in, I think, on top. Um, I think it's just adding the charcoal with the springtails, but I might just want to, um, you know, I'm not sure if I want to mix it in or not. I get this feeling I need more wood. <coughs> ah, I'm getting this dust up my, down my throat. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I think were I an isopod, I think I might like that. Yeah. Okay. I got out the mother colony. I am going to fish out some sludge here. And we'll see how many springtails come along with. A few. We're going to mix that in. Um, this is to inoculate them. This has got some good beneficial bacteria in it got some uh, other composties in it. Obviously it's got some springtail, it's not a whole lot. It's got some. But we will be fishing more of them out uh, later on to add once we move our stuff over. I fed them a couple days ago so they're all kind of eaten. So yeah, let's mix that in. Get that a good mix in. The springtails will be fine. They're resilient little creatures. They'll find their way out. They'll clean themselves off. They'll like it because it's nice and wet in here. But that'll give us a lot more charcoal in our bedding. Which, I like that idea. So, okay, let's, um, let's go ahead and put it over into the new bin. Okay. Put that there. Whoops. All right, we've got our new bin. You can see right here we've got a hole there. We've got a few on um, every side here. So there will be plenty of airflow. Now we're going to go ahead and take our substrate we just made and toss it in there for them. See what we're looking at. We don't want it too thick. It will compost down a little more, you know. They're little they're composters too. Oh, you know, I can put that all in there, I think. Is that? It's a big chunk of wood. Alright. Well, that doesn't look terrible bad. I think they'll probably like that. Alright, let's put some leaves over top I've been saving. Let's go ahead and just tear those up. And we'll spread them about the bin. There we go. They like to hide under things. They're silly little creatures. Okay. Now, one thing I'm going to have to do before we put them in here for sure, I want to um, inspect the choya wood to make sure there's no fungus growing on that. But in the interim, we'll put 
while we inspect that, give them some little toys. They like to climb around those. These will break down eventually. They'll pop up and you'll see on the um, orange isopods what they've done to theirs. See this one over in a corner. All right. So here's their bin. We'll um, check out the Troy Wood and see kind of what's going on. All right, cool. Oh, hello, little bug of poos. I see babies. I see babies. Hi, little babies. Babies. There is poop everywhere. Oh, hi, little dude. Look at him. Look at him. He's poking up through the hole. He's all. Wee, lee, lee. Okay, so there's some on the inside of the tray of wood. Understood? Um, one of the things I wanted to do. Are you guys ready for a new bed? Are you ready for a new bed? Mama made you a new bed. Oops, looks like we got somebody. Somebody in here. Doodle doodle. We got a few of them. Doodle doodle. Aren't they so cute? Ooh, that one is a juvenile. That's an adult. That's a juvenile. We got an adult over here. They are breeding. Oh, look. Little baby! He's right there. Can you see him? Little baby! Hi. Hi, little guy. Um, yeah, they're breeding, so they need a bigger space. Which is cool. And I wanted to inspect this choya wood, but I can already tell by looking at it. One of the reasons why I want to change their bed is not only because they're breeding and they need more space, but a fungus has developed in our substrate. Um, you could probably see a little bit of it right down in here. It looks like little yellow dots, almost like the sand that's in the substrate. I'm using Serpa Designs Tropical Substrate Recipe to the key. So, but I'm having fungus issues. So, you want to get them out of it. And it's time for some clean substrate anyways. Oh, look, there's a mama in a... And a teenager. He's all, hi! Like a mom magnolia leaf. Aren't they so cute? Oop, bonk. Sorry, Bubba. Um, so yeah, and I wanted to inspect their, oh look, there's a buttload of them in there. Wee, 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 wee. Can you see them in there? Um, I wanted to inspect their choya wood to see if, um, Oops, I flipped him on his back. Flip over, buddy. There we go. Um, to see if it had fungus on it, but I can already see that it does a little bit. So we're going to give him a fresh piece of choya wood. We are going to get them a new feeding dish. We can see there's some mold growing there of the food they didn't finish. That's interesting. Let's see if you can see that. When they ate their food down through the center, there's a hole. They didn't eat the top part. Probably because there's more moisture down there in that center area. I am, however, I am seeing springtails in here. And I thought I saw a baby isopod. He might have hauled that out though. But we're going to get them a new uh, feed dish. So we're going to take that away and put it in our little bucket. Oh, hang on. Let's make sure there's nobody on the bottom. Okay, cool. Um, we'll leave their little wood ball there for them. For now. Uh, whoops, bumping stuff. Uh, let's see if we can get this out of here without disturbing them too much. Yeah, see, the problem is, oh, there's some of that fungus. Oh, there's a big fatty. There it is. You can see right there. Oh, we've got some other stuff growing there. 
I noticed the one thing with wood though is they really like it broken in. But because this has fungus on it, I'm actually going to let it uh, dry out. And then we'll probably end up using it in the setup later. So, um, I don't know how to make sure the fungus doesn't come over on their bodies, any spores. So I'm just going to have to roll the dice, I guess, to see if we can get them off of here. Boodaloo. I see some springtails in there. I put some fresh springtails in. There's quite a few on the inside. I can see them. Um, maybe knock them out. I'm just knocking the goop out. Um, let's see here. Now, what is that? See, that worries me a bit. Because I don't know, I don't know if you can see those little balls right there. I don't know if that's fungus or eggs. Crud. I think I might have to go do a little more research. It looks different than the fungus. I might have to go look up isopod eggs. I would hate hate to ruin their nursery. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead, just in case it is, you don't want to mess that up. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. It's in backwards, but whatever. Um, and I think I need to do a bit of research here. I was kind of hoping I could transfer that over, but with the fungus on it, I'm not thinking so. You come here, you little bugaboo. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Little Armadillidium maculatum. You've got terrible stripes. Oops. Oh, sorry, bruv. Totally dumped him down in there. He's happy, though. But that's good. Juveniles, babies, adults. His stripes are a little better. I'm hoping they get more defined. Whoops, I did it again. <laughs> I'm so glad they're little armored little dudes. Here's some more reason on his back. There we go. Well, crud. Hey, Roly Poly. All right. Okay, so those are not eggs. So let's lift this back up, take another peek. Those are not eggs of an isopod. Land isopods apparently carry their babies in a sack on their underbelly. Ooh, look, there's one, let's flick him off. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's one in there too. So that must be fungus of some sort. Maybe, oh, you know what I think that might be? I think that might be sphagnus, well, well, sphagnum moss that was trying to attach onto the wood. Because that was weird when I touched it and brushed it. It was um, very mossy looking. Okay, so I'm not really sure how to get all of them out of here. Poke, poke, poke. It's unfortunate because um, there's a lot of poop in there. I bet that'd be good in the worm bin. Let's take a peek down the center. I can see one. There goes one. Oh, oh, I've got a few in here. Darn it. Want to stress them out, but I don't want them hanging out in here either because they don't get to keep this. 
Oh, he's in a little hole nugget. He's burrowing himself. Okay, well, we're going to take that out, put that over here off to the side. Let's take out leaves. Make sure we don't have any hitchhikers. Doodly loo. These are going to come out because I can see fungus on them. Is there anybody in there? I don't see anybody. I'll still put that in our little bowl over here. Let's grab our charcoal. Well, that's strange. That's got a little bit of fungus on it. Very unusual for charcoal. <gasps> Can you see? Look, there's a little baby right there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, he's, he's a youngin. Whoops. So I wonder, is this my nursery down here? Look, there's more of that fungus. You see what I mean? It's very strange looking. We got springtails down there now. They've been hiding away deep in the moisture. Let's keep taking these out and looking. There's a lot of poop down there. You and a lot of mold. So, yeah, we need to get these guys out of here. Yep. Um, like I said, not sure whoops, how to be able to tell um, if they're bringing over fungus spores or not, but I suppose we'll just have to leave it up to the springtails. to take care of it. I think I need a spoon. I think I need a spoon. One of my trusty plastic spoons. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get to picking. They go ding a ling a ling. Okay, as I'm picking them clean, I will pull out the pieces. Ooh, there's a big, nice, big fatty right there. Look at him. He's all wheedly -ly. Don't see any babies. There's a baby there. Um, you know, I might actually leave this put together and just put a bunch of springtails in here to clean it up, keep it wet for them, wetter than the zebra isopods like it, which is why. I'm so confused about this is I actually let it dry out quite a bit. Okay. Now we're going to pick that little dude up, put him in our bowl. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Finding the babies in this is going to be difficult, but I have a plan for that. I don't know. Maybe my plan's changing. I was going to break this down and put all this stuff in the worm bin and let the worms have it because they'll eat this fungus. They'll love it. Um, but if I'm not going to break it down, 
I um, may end up with some babies popping up in here. Okay, this is going to take a while. So we're going to do this and um, we'll see you after. things I'm going to do is I'm going to feed them when I transfer them uh, that way and give them lots of nutrition that way um, if anybody's pregnant they get lots of nutrition and if anybody's stressed out from the move this will help chill them out but this is the food that I made for them um, it's a gelatin it's got moisture in it for them I uh, just put hot water it's a blend of Rapashi's bug burger and morning wood I mix those two, two up, I add a little spirulina, I added some blood worms, and I added some pollen. And I mixed all that up in here, added hot water and chilled it, and now it's a solid gel form, and that's what we're going to feed them. Okay, so that's our bin we got ready for them. It's still a little wet. I did add some spring tilts in here, but we'll be adding more. But now that I've inspected their toy wood, and I see it's got fungus on it, we don't want to bring that over here. So we got him a fresh piece. I've always got this around because I just love it. So we're gonna put it down in here directly on the substrate. Push it in just a little bit because they like to crawl under it and in it. Um, got a little stick in here for them. They like sticks. I've got some others drying out. Uh, let's see, let's get them a new food dish. I have a whole bag of these um, ghetto clam shelly type things you get in the, you know, you know, dollar store or the art department for really cheap or whatever. This is how I keep the food off of the substrate, thus causing potential problems later on. So we're going to get them a fresh dish. Oh, it's chipped. That's all right. Um, let's move some of these leaves out of the way over here and we'll do that and we'll put our food dish down right there kind of how we had it in the other bin at the end so cool there's that now we can add the guys that we collected out there's plenty more in their original bin um, a lot of them are very young and very difficult to catch. So I'm going to leave them in the other bin and hopefully lure and bait them and daily I'll be able to pick a few out out of the food dish um, and transfer them over here. But uh, when I bought these, I only bought 10, I only got 10. So there's definitely more than 10 in here and there's definitely more than 10 in, remaining in the bin. But I chucked, as you saw, a bunch more uh, springtails in there, so hopefully they'll take care of the um, fungus. So we're just going to pick this up. Look, they're all over it. <laughs> that was a nice transfer. And we're just going to put them down in their new bin. Let them go check it out. There you go, guys. i got a few left in here. Let's um, get them out of there. Anybody else? Any babies? I don't see anybody moving. Okay. So there they go. They're going to go check out their new home. Oh, let's feed them.
I'm gonna feed them. Got to feed them. So, like I said, it's a gelatin form. We're just gonna get in there and cut a little piece out for them and lay it down in their dish. Whoops, plop one right on top of his head. There we go. And we got some food in there for him. Look, he's already checking it out. And um, hopefully they'll be good. We'll put some of this on the other one too. And try to bait some more. So thanks for watching, guys. We're going to do the powder orange isopods next. I doubt I'll make a video for that because it'll essentially be the same thing as this one. Only the isopods will be different. So maybe I'll just show you an after on an update or something. They're really breeding.